welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about why I've been absent on Facebook for the past seven years and why I'm actually jumping back on. Um, the reason I got off Facebook originally was because I was super active. Um, well, let's say 10 years ago, seven, I will say 10 years ago, 10 years ago, I was being a personal trainer, going to work, surfing. So I'd start work at 6 a.m., go to work till 2.30, go for a bodyboard for an hour and a half, and then go and train people for two or th yeah, two hours. And I was pro probably doing stuff like that like three or four days a week. And then on my rest days, I'd probably go for a surf or I was just really, really active. Um, and then during that time, about 10 years ago, we'll say eight years ago, I started getting pains in my right side. And then when I went to the doctor initially, they thought I'd torn a muscle and it was like a torn muscle due to me doing like calisthenics and doing all these ridiculous like front levers and muscle ups and stuff like that. Um, so I went along with that. Um, then it would fade away the pain and then I'd start training again, surfing again. And then um, it would happen again. I'd get this pain down my side. It would feel like it was my back to start with, but then it would like wrap around my front and my whole right side. And so then the doctors said it was a nerve, nerve damage. So they gave me nerve blocking tablets and that helped a lot, but I still couldn't do what I used to do. And because of that, it was just really hard to be on Facebook and stay motivated to train people. Um, so I had to give up training and I had to walk away pretty much from yeah, the people that I met because I kind of withdrew due to me not being the person I was anymore. I was super depressed because obviously I couldn't surf. I wasn't active. Um, luckily, I was still playing the guitar because I've always been playing the guitar and into music since I was like 16. So luckily, I had music and I played the PlayStation a lot. Um, but I really withdrew because of this health issue I had. And pretty much when I jumped off Facebook, it actually got a lot worse. Um, the pain, instead of staying for three months, it would stay there for four months. And it was just like, it was just excruciating. It actually felt like my appendix was bursting for two months straight. So I would go to the doctors um, in absolute tears and beg them for help. And in the end, the doctors said that I was a mental case. I was, there was nothing wrong with me because all my scans and all the tests I was having were showing nothing. And so I was a mental case. And because of that and not getting any help and I was under so much pressure from the pain I was in that I actually did. I spiraled into a really dark place. Um, around this time too, my brother in Queensland committed suicide. So it was just a really dark, depressing time for me. Um, and yeah, the doctors didn't think there was anything wrong with me. And so yeah, all I did for about a year and a half was We'll sit on a lounge and play PlayStation. I couldn't go to work anymore. Um, when this period of pain would start, I would have to have like two months off work. And then it would gradually like fade away where I could, I could do stuff, but I still wasn't. I was constantly in pain. Like I'd go, to, I'd wake up in the morning in pain. I'd go to sleep in pain. It was absolutely excruciating. Um, then what happened? we'll say about six, five years ago, the pain was that bad that around Christmas time, I went to Milton Hospital probably four times in a week, like begging for help, saying there's something wrong. 
And in the end, I drove to Nara Hospital, which is a bigger hospital, which is like an hour away. I needed that twice in this same week. So I went to the hospital six times in a week and was getting no real help. And the next day after the, the second trip to Nara, I went to the doctors and I was the lowest I've ever been in my life. Like I was absolutely, I was just, I was absolutely broken and had, had no help from doctors. I just had, it was just the absolute worst. So luckily from that day, I went and they took my appendix out because they didn't know what could be wrong with me. And when they took my appendix out, they said, look, it's not your appendix, but we think it's your bowel. You have a problem with your bowel. So I'd already previously had a colonoscopy before that, which showed up nothing. But then I got booked in to see a specialist. And so then I'd, I went back to work after two months of this appendix operation and I was still no good. And I think I had to have another three months off work waiting to see the specialist. And then um, seeing this gastrologist, and they booked me in for another colonoscopy. The colonoscopy results came back that I had Crohn's disease, which isn't something you can catch. It's like an autoimmune disease. And my Crohn's disease is different. Most people, there's symptoms that are easy to catch, like they go to the toilet a lot or they eat food and they're in pain straight away, where I don't have symptoms like that at all. My symptoms are like the opposite. My insides just wants to destroy itself. Like my yeah, my section of my bowel just wants to. It's like there's lava in there or something. It just it's so I have to take these immune suppressant tablets for the rest of my life, um, which is amazing. It helps with the pain. Like there's it's. It just blocks or stops my body from attacking itself. But it has side effects where I can't actually go out in the sun for too long because my body can't block UV rays anymore. So I'm at a really high risk of skin cancer. So that's a bit of a bummer. I can't go in the sun anymore, which sucks because I used to bodyboard and be outside all the time. Um, so, But that's what I have to weigh up. I, soon I might be able to have these injections where instead of taking the tablets, I'll have injections and then I'll be able to go in the sun. So, so that's what happened to me over the last eight years or really the, the last five years were the, the worst. But leading up to that, I probably had was in pain for three years and they just called it chronic pain and we just they said it was a muscle, a nerve. Then I spent two or th two years, we'll say, with doctors saying I was crazy. And then I actually went crazy. And then the last four years, I've been on the mend with this tablet. And it's probably only in the last two years that I've been getting back. Like, the good thing about all this time off, I played the guitar like, something crazy like i played the guitar so much it's not funny i taught kaius and matuki the guitar i taught my taught my son kaius who has autism the guitar like i actually let him have a year off school and i homed homeschooled him from year six to year seven and i just had him playing the guitar like every day and teaching him homeschooling and so he could transition into high school um and also I played the PlayStation a lot in this period where I couldn't get off the lounge for about a year and a half. Like my body was just fucked. I pretty much any movement in my torso would be excruciating. So imagine putting shoes on, putting clothes on, any sort of bending, lifting, getting things. It was just every, every possible thing when you move was just excruciating. Um, and so I just played the PlayStation, like I played Destiny and Destiny 2 and I just played the shit out of the game. Like I did raids for a day, like I was just playing so much. 
I don't play as much anymore because I found that I escaped reality and played the PlayStation and there was no balance in my life. My, I really, really did, was addicted to playing the PlayStation, playing Destiny. And that's, that's what the games are tailored for. They, they're supposed to addict people. So you play. So the reason why I'm back on Facebook now is because some of the plugins or software that I use to create my music, they've got a competition at the moment and they want you to upload onto your social media and the only social media I have is YouTube but YouTube's not one that they have they have Facebook and Instagram so I'm jumping back on Facebook um, I'm gonna post all the stuff that I've been doing over the last year and a half I'm currently in the process of writing um, and finishing the first 10 songs I think that I've been teaching Kaius and I've got like a guy a vocalist from Poland who um, I hire to do the vocals um, and we bounce ideas backwards and forwards sometimes I send him the lyrics most of the time he sends me his finished product and then I edit it and I do my part and then he sings the parts that I've done so it's just so much fun I'm just I'm so into back into music like I used to, which is insane. And like I said, Kaius and Matuki um, are just going to be little guitar freaks. Like, they're really good. So I hope that clears up and helps you understand why I wasn't on Facebook. Um, yeah, it was a really tough time walking away from the people that I used to train and pretty much I walked away from life like I walked away from everything and just became a, a home person I just had no the only places I went to for about a year and a half was Audi and the chemists and the doctors like the, that is no shit like I went to and when I'd go there I was so um, yeah I was just like a deer in the headlights because at that time I was supposed to be at work and the, the doctors hadn't found anything wrong with me and so when I'd go out in public I'd see people from work because I used to work in um, like a, a big nursing retirement village so there's like 160 people would work there so I'd go to Audi and I'd always see someone from work and they'd always ask how are you blah 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 and I just got sick of people asking me how I was like because I didn't even know what was wrong with me I knew I, I had a chronic something really chronically wrong with me but the doctors weren't believing me like so it was just a really terrible part of my um, my life it went from like the greatest time of my life when I was training people and and then all of a sudden I was, yeah, I was just really, luckily I had people around me though that supported me. So I have to give a shout out to Tamina. She was fantastic throughout all of this. Um, so going forward now, I'm gonna be uploading my music onto Facebook so you can check it out. And yeah, I'm gonna constantly be, do, be doing music, especially with Kais and Tuki. Um, no, it's going to be really good. If you have any comments, leave them down below regarding this video. It might be a little bit scattered because I really didn't know what I was going to talk about. I just wanted to explain why I went AFK for um, seven years, six years. Yeah. All right, well, leave a comment, subscribe if you want. And I'll see you next time.